So we just got back from our Los Angeles trip where we toured a ton of great aquarium content, but it's now time to check out my aquariums that I have not touched in the last 10 days or so. Just giving a quick update on all the tanks, but I'm gonna be focusing on the 135 back here, the Peacock and Hap tank. I'm gonna be doing a water change, updating the Aquascape, adding new fish to this tank, as well as giving an update on the clear water algae scrubber. This is gonna be a jam-packed video. Can't wait to get to it, so let's dive right in. So here are the tanks down in the basement. Got the 180, the 150, the 135. Got the 90 gallon discus tank over here. And then in my storage room back here is the fish room that has three more tanks. So we're gonna give an update on all those right here. So the 180 gallon tank is looking great. Again, I haven't done a water change or maintenance on this tank in about 10 days. Uh, while I was gone, I did have a friend stopping by and I had measured food out for them to give to each of my different tanks. but. It's great to see that all of them are doing really well. As usual, the Oscar is front and center and the tank looks great. Uh, definitely got to scrub some algae off of the acrylic and do a water change here soon. There are also a couple pieces of the artificial plants that are floating there, but overall it's looking great. And then as we go on into the fish room, I also have some packages here, some updates to new projects that are coming very soon. I have an auto feeder and a CO2 regulator from Aquarium Co-op as well as some filters and pumps from Ciche. So that just shows that we have a lot of projects here that are up and coming. A little bit backlogged because of the Los Angeles trip, but those videos are gonna be coming fast and furious. So definitely make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those. But moving on, we have the 150 gallon custom aquarium and this tank is looking great. There's really nothing that I need to do to this tank because it's so heavily planted. I don't really do many water changes anyway. I do about a 30% water change every month, so in a week or two, I'll probably do a water change. I might have to top off the sump in this tank as well as the sump in the 135, which we're gonna get to next here. And overall, the fish look happy and healthy, colored up as usual. These guys have really started to grow and come into their own. And then as we move over to the 90 gallon discus tank, these guys are doing great. All the rummy nose tetras and corridoras are accounted for, which is great and the discus have really settled in, started to eat a lot better. I did have to treat this tank for some parasites a couple months ago, but all of the fish have rebounded nicely. They're getting much thicker and eating much more aggressively. Overall, the tank's doing great, and I really like the look of it. Some of the plants could be doing a little bit better, but we're gonna make some updates to this tank here shortly, so much more to come there. But let's take a quick look at the state of the fish room next. These guys are so active and they are always greeting me, but let's go ahead into the fish room where I just have three aquariums set up and two of my quarantine tanks. Let me turn on a light here. Two of my quarantine tanks are currently empty and I have projects coming for both of these with new fish coming. There's a lot coming here for the fish room like I mentioned earlier. Uh, next to that is the 75 gallon tank which has all of my electric blue acara and they are doing great. They definitely look like they've grown in this 10 day period. Um, but as you can see, there are two peacocks in here. Well, actually one peacock and one hap that have gotten big enough that I feel comfortable putting them into the 135. So I'm gonna start making updates to the 75 gallon tank today. I'm gonna be removing two of those fish to put into the 135. And I do have plans to scoop out more of the electric blue acara to take to my local fish store tomorrow. And this tank is eventually gonna be cleared out and repurposed. And I'm really excited to show you what I'm gonna be doing with that. But over here, I have my 40 gallon breeder and the 33 gallon African shell dweller tank. The Shell Dweller's doing great. Both of these tanks are actually thriving with a lot of breeding happening in both tanks. There are a ton of little babies in the African Shell Dweller tank. And the Gymno Geophagus and the 40 gallon breeder have also bred a lot lately. I think both tanks could use a water change and definitely scrubbing off the algae from the front panels. But overall, everyone's doing great. Really happy that all the tanks and the fish did well during that 10 day period but it is time to get to work starting with the 135. So as part of our trip to Los Angeles, we had the opportunity to tour an awesome African cichlid tank. It was a 500 gallon in wall corner cichlid tank. This was designed and installed by Infinity Aquariums and they were nice enough to give us a tour of this tank as well as a couple others and it was just incredible. It was very inspiring and I kind of wanted to come back and make some updates right away to my peacock and hat tank. So I'm gonna take some inspiration from that awesome setup and we're gonna be doing three different things all at once on this tank today. We're gonna to start by doing a water change and as the tank is draining, I'm gonna be adjusting the aquascape. I went out and bought some more rocks to this tank to make it look a little less barren and a little more structure to the tank. And I'm also gonna be adding the two new fish to this tank. It'll be a good distraction with the water change and adjusting the aquascape 
when I'm adding these two new fish, so hopefully they won't get bullied or beat up too much when they're first introduced. So first off, you'll definitely see that there is some green algae buildup on this custom aquarium, and I'm gonna go ahead and scrub that off as I do the water change. But before we get to the water change, just to check on the sump here real quick, this is the seamless sump from Custom Aquariums, and you can see that the water level is a little bit low, so had it been another week or two that I was gone, it might have run dry, so that's always a good thing to keep in mind if you have a sump. But I'll basically be topping off the sump as part of the water change here, so no big deal. But another quick update is the clear water algae scrubber. Just as a refresher, the algae scrubber is intended to pull out nitrates in the aquarium. Algae, just like any other live plants, eat and consume nitrates in the tank. So it's really beneficial for your fish and should reduce my water change schedules dramatically. In this tank, I actually have not done a water change in over a month. And so far the nitrates in this tank have stayed below 20 parts per million. And as you can see on the algae scrubber, there's a fair amount of algae that has started to build up here. And I think it will just continue to grow and flourish in this clear water scrubber as the fish continue to grow and everything just starts balancing itself out. So first step of the water change, like always, I attach the CHA Ultra Zero pump to the end of the Python hose. The end of the Python goes to a sink on the other end of my basement, but I just put the pump in, turn it on, and then I turn off the pumps that are coming from the sump and the wave maker. I'm definitely gonna give this a really good wipe down. And like I mentioned, I have all these new rocks so I'm gonna be adding to this aquascape. So once the tank drains about 30%, I'm gonna start adding those new rocks. So with this new aquascape, it's still gonna be pretty simplistic, but I just wanted to add a little bit more to it. As a reminder, these peacocks and haps love open water swimming space, so you don't want too much decor in a tank with them, but I did want just a little bit more to make the tank just look a little more aesthetically pleasing. And since it's a pretty big tank, I definitely think I can add a few more rocks here, build up the structures and the caves just a little bit more, and they still have plenty of open water swimming space. I also have plans to add a couple new fish to this tank. I already have two Synodonis petricola catfish, but I would like to get two or maybe three more to add to this tank. And these extra rocks will just provide some cover for them so that they can swim in and out of the rocks and have some cover from the peacocks and haps. So now that I have the aquascape how I want it, it is time to go get those two new fish out of my 75 gallon tank and put them right into the 135. And I totally get that this will not end up looking as great as that 500 gallon tank in Los Angeles, but it's gonna be pretty awesome for a 135 down here in my basement. And with peacocks and haps, sometimes they are the decoration themselves. So you don't wanna add too much to the tank, taking away from that swimming space or taking away from the focal point of the tank, the fish themselves. And once I'm done with the aquascape and the tank has been drained enough during the water change, I'll remove the CHA pump from the python and put the regular end piece back on the python, put it back into the tank, and then I'll just turn the tap water on, matching the temperature as close as possible, filling up the tank in the process. And as the tank is filling, that is when I'll add my dechlorinator. And it's really simple, just waiting for the tank water to reach the overflows. And that's when I'll turn the pumps from the sump back on as well as the wave maker. And at the end of all my water changes, I like to add a little cherry on top by using Fritz glass and acrylic cleaner. It really does a great job keeping any smudges, water stains, fingerprints off of the outside of the glass, which is sometimes overlooked and could make your tank look a little cloudy or just a little dirty. Okay, so our water change, new fish, and new aquascape are all set up in the tank. Let's come back in a few hours when everything settles and check out the finished product.
So that's the update on the 135 gallon custom aquarium. I can't wait to show progress on the fish as they continue to grow and color up. I also have a huge upgrade coming for my lighting system that I can't wait to show you. I have other products that I hinted at early in the video that are gonna be going towards big projects coming to my basement. And because you made it this far in the video, figured I'd go ahead and drop a huge hint here. In a couple weeks, the Cichlid Bros are getting another huge custom aquarium. Make sure to subscribe.